Hello, so today um, I want to do a get ready with me and do as many first impressions as I can because I got a bunch of new products and I thought it would be fun to try them out on camera with you. So uh, if you want to see that, then just keep watching. Okay, so I zoomed you in because I'm going to start on the eyes, obviously, and I'm going to put on this uh, Lorac primer. It's the behind the scenes primer. Um, this isn't new to me. <laughs> But I need a primer, so it's going on. Okay, today I got the um, Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. It's like covering the whole screen right now. But um, I know that there's a new one, and it's the Bon Bon's palette or whatever. But I didn't want that one. I wanted this one because I wanted like a bunch of warm browns instead of like pinks. Because I'm a pink fan. So we're going to try this out today. So basically what I want to do is just like have like... A matte brown smoky eye situation happening on the top lid and then I'm gonna do a pop of color later so I think I'm going to take okay I'm gonna take this color and I think it's called mousse and ignore how sweaty I look like I just put on moisturizer plus it's like a million degrees in here and this light is like shining on me so just ignore that but um yeah I'm gonna take this color and put it all up in the crease area I'm not a big fan of this eye primer because it does not cover anything like my um urban decay primer potions like the two that i have at least they like cover up you know all the veins on my eyelid and this one doesn't and i'm not a fan of it but like i mean the formula is fine i just wish it had like pigmentation okay i'm gonna take a flat shader brush and i'm gonna take the color truffled i think it's right here it's like a dark brown and he's matte I'm going to put this all over my lid. I'm going to go back in with, um, I don't even know, I can't even hardly see the words, mousse, apparently. And blend out the crease even more. I very much love these eyeshadows right now. Not going to lie, they're blending out really, really pretty. And these two colors are really pretty. Okay, I'm going to take um, Butter Pecan. It's this one right here. You can't even tell how pretty this is in camera because, like, I don't even know. It looks really, really pretty. It's, like, just a really shiny peach color. And I'm going to put him up here on the eyebrow bone area. I normally do not like shimmery eyeshadows on my eyebrow bone, eyebrow bone because, um... They like accentuate all my brow hairs <laughs> that I have not plucked yet. So these are blending out so beautifully. It makes me so happy because they look so pretty. Like I hope you can get that vibe. How amazing they are through the camera lens. Because I'm loving it. I'm probably like the last person in the world to have a chocolate bar palette. And especially it's not even like the newest one. But you know what? I don't care. Okay? Like I'm just acknowledging how amazing it is and I'm loving it. Okay, so I used three colors from that, but I love this look that I created. Um, I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. Like, normally I probably wouldn't even do eyeliner with this look, but since I got a new one, I want to try it. And this is the Blink Ultra Thin Liquid Eyeliner Pen. Okay, it's, it's, it was like $26, but look at its tiny, tiny little, whatever that is, little, little tip. And ignore how orange my hands are. That's horrible. But like, let's 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 do it on my hand. Come on, focus, focus on the hand. Oh, so tiny. But every time I do my wings, they do not become like as sharp as I want them to. So I was like, hmm, maybe this tiny tiny tip will like create an ultra sharp line there. You know, because every time I do my wings, I have issues and I hate my life. So let's just try it out. Damn, you can get a, such a fine little lineup in here if you wanted. This is like amazing. Just gonna put that out there. If you have trouble with wings and like making them look not like ridiculously huge, I think that this would be a lot of help, seriously. I kid you not. I just fell in love right now. This is amazing. Okay, this made my life so happy. Like I have never gotten such like a little perfect like tiny little um 
top part, like right here on the lid, that always becomes huge for me. And like right now, it's just like so tiny and cute. And I mean, my wings probably aren't perfect because they never are, but like I'm loving it. Okay, I'm gonna put on mascara. Um, I have the L'Oreal Telescopic because I don't have any new ones to try. So I'm just gonna put this one on because he's a goody. That just made my eyelashes look really amazing. Like I kind of don't even want to put on falsies, but I always do. So it'd be kind of weird if I didn't. And I actually have a new pair that I want to try out because they look amazing. Um, I went to Walgreens and I seen these and they looked gorgeous. Okay. Like, ugh. I'm in love. I don't know if I like them on my eyes, but they look gorgeous in this little container. Apparently they are the Wispies 600 Black. And I looked on Ulta.com and they don't have it there. And I've never ever seen these anywhere except for the other day. So, I don't know if they're like easy to find, but they look really pretty. These are like giant. Am I the only person whose eyes these are like giant enormous on? Um, <laughs> I just spit everywhere. Like, okay, I want this very long piece right there to be in the middle of my eye. So I'm going to have to probably cut like off this end and then off this end, even though you're definitely not supposed to cut off the inner corner, but I'm probably going to have to. Okay, so I cut these <laughs> real weird. I cut off the tiny part on both ends and then I cut off like another part on the outer corner. It's like totally out of focus, but they are weird right now. Okay, these are what these eyelashes look like. Um, they're different. I kind of like them. Uh, yeah, they're okay. They're kind of really long and I feel like they're kind of maybe sticking straight out, but it's fine. <laughs> so I'm just going to move on to my face and I can zoom you out now. Okay, so I'm going to start with primer and this is a, a new primer. It's not new to me because I've had it for like two weeks, but it's pretty new on Ulta's website at least. It is the NYX First Base Primer Spray and uh, I love this stuff. I don't know why. I normally don't even like primers. I feel like they don't really do anything. Like all they do is like moisturize your skin, big whoop. That obviously is gonna make your makeup going better. But for some reason I like this a lot and it feels really thin. Like, I don't know, just compared to other primers it just feels so much thinner on the face. And then like once I put it on I can feel it like start to like set and get tacky. So I'm assuming it helps makeup stay on better. So yeah. Yeah, I kind of douse my face in it. <sighs> I don't know, but I love I love the sprayer on it too. It's really good. Like, I think it was only like eight dollars or something on Ulta. So really, it's pretty good, and you should check it out. I've also tried the um, Smashbox one, uh, the spray primer stuff, and I don't really like it very much. I don't think it was that great. So I would definitely recommend this one over that one. Okay, after that dries i go in with foundation and um today i have a new foundation to try it is the cover fx natural finish oil free foundation in the shade g20 this is expensive it's like 40 dollars. so basically if i don't like it it's going back um but i was okay it might be a little too light for my neck but i think it kind of oxidizes because earlier i put a little bit on just to like check the color like it looks kind of light and it, but then it like oxidized a little but it feels so thick like just doing it like this like it feels really thick and like creamy i don't know if that's a good thing um the back says to apply it with like your fingers or a brush but i'm gonna try using my real technique sponge wet and see if it applies nice with this if not then i'll switch to a brush i feel like I heard Jaclyn Hill talking about this, saying that it is supposed to be, like, she's saying that it is, like, really good coverage and that, like, a little goes a long way and, like, saying it's good, um, but, like, basically, I have the Cover FX drops and you can use those as foundation and, like, those have definitely full coverage and a little goes a long way and they're, like, the same price and, but those feel way thinner than this, like, it seems like, like, why wouldn't you just want to buy the thinner one? You know what I'm saying? Because this is kind of like, I don't even know how to explain it. It feels really, like, tough. Like, it's not a wet formula at all. I'm going to try to do my forehead with a brush and just see what the difference is. This is so 
thick. <laughs> like I swear, trying to like rub it over my face. Like maybe I should have used like a really moisturizing primer because it probably would help this spread a little easier. Always gotta fuck up the brows though. I don't feel like this is looking <laughs> pretty on the skin at all. Ugh. It does not like, ugh. Ugh. This is natural finish. I feel like, I mean, maybe there's some shine to it, but it feels really matte or something. I'm not sure that I like this very much. Does not look pretty on at all. I got it in my brow though. How dare you. I don't think this is like the fullest coverage, like complete coverage. Like I would say my cover FX drops are. Cause I can definitely still see some not happy spots and I really don't like adding on top of this because it feels so freaking thick. I swear I don't, I've never tried a foundation that felt like this before, it's kind of weird. I have to like set my forehead as soon as I pat it in or it creases like a maniac. Um, so I'm gonna set my forehead really quick with this new powder that I got and it's new to the whole world basically. This is the Laura Geller Filter Finish Setting Powder Universal. I love Laura Geller products with a passion. I've recently tried like a lot of them and I fell in love. So when this came out, I was like, bitch, yes. It's like a bunch of different colors. It's supposed to be like color correcting. Um, it's supposed to be like, since it says like filter, finish, setting powder or whatever, it's supposed to like make you look glowy, I think, which would probably be nice since I feel like this foundation is so like, thick and dry and I don't know. So I'm gonna take this on this brush. I don't know if this is gonna be like too much coverage using my this brush, but you know what, whatever. It's kind of weird because I'm setting my face with this, but my forehead still feels tacky, which I cannot stand. Like I pack on the powder to make sure that I cannot feel any tackiness at all. I didn't know who's to blame here. Is it the foundation or is it the powder? I'm gonna have to try them separately, but I think that this powder looks really pretty on my forehead right now. It definitely has a slight glow. I feel like I'm so bright you can't even like see what the hell's happening. Like, can you see my forehead glowing right now? Cause I can. Just, I still feel tacky and I hate that feeling. Okay, I'm going to uh, go in with concealer up under my eyes and I got this one. This is the Sephora brand concealer. A lot of people have kind of been talking about this saying it's pretty good, but I didn't get it in a natural shade. I got it in Bright Future, which is a color corrector. This is the shade yellow. Um, it's basically pure yellow. But the weird thing about this is the applicator. It's not a typical doe foot applicator. You cannot swipe this on your hand and get like anything off of it. Like it's like barely anything, but you're supposed to do these dots. Sorry, I have a horrible aim right now. But um, yeah, because like in the end, there's like a little hole and that's where it picks up the product, which might be inconvenient. I'm probably gonna have to like dip in here like 800 times. But a lot of people were saying that they like this concealer, so I wanted to try it. And I hope yellow, straight up yellow, does not look weird up under my eyes. But I'm just gonna dot like a very large amount of this all over my face. Okay, I'm going to use my spongy again and try to blend this out and see what color we get here. I feel like every time I do a first impressions video, like just trying out a bunch of new things, it always goes bad. And like I'm feeling like that's what's gonna happen right now. <laughs> Cause I, I don't know. It's basically this, this foundation. It's making me concerned. I think I like how this looks up under the eyes though. I mean, it doesn't look like pure yellow. <laughs> On camera, I feel like I'm so goddamn bright. Now, I got something new to try up under my eyes. I bet you know what it is. Just go ahead and guess. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I got like a tinier one because I didn't want to like buy the bigger one if I don't like it. Um, 
Basically, I got this to see if it was going to be like a dupe for this one that I got the other day. It's the Maybelline Master Fix translucent powder. It's like new. And I heard someone say that it was like just as good as this one. So I'm like, I need to try. Like, I love this one. I think it's really, really good. So I'm going to try this one up under the eyes and see if it's as amazing as everyone says. Because everyone in the world is in love with it for some reason. Oh my god. Holy shit, I uh, was shaking this up. I don't even know if I can show you, but like this whole top part is full of powder right now. I did not mean to create so much powder. That's messy, it's pure messy. Okay, I'm gonna go right back in and try to blend out any creases happening. I'm gonna take a dry sponge and just pack this powder onto it. And I'm gonna put it up under the eye and use it to bake. Um, if you have problems with smile lines throughout the day, which I always do, then definitely try baking them, like taking a loose powder and just packing it on top of them and then like letting that sit for a while. Because I've done that before, but I didn't let it sit for very long. But the other day, I did it and I let it sit for a good while and then like all day I didn't have any smile, wrinkle, creases in my makeup. It looks really, really pretty up under the eyes, not gonna lie. The only difference right now that I can tell between the two powders is that that one is definitely white, whereas this one is like skin colored, even though it says translucent. So I don't think this one is going to be as brightening as the white one from Maybelline. I'm going to let that sit for a minute and I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with my Laura Geller powder I used a second ago. I wonder if my face feel, feels tacky. Yep, still feels tacky. Okay, my cheeks kind of feel sad. Why does my forehead, you know what, maybe my forehead's just sweaty because I'm hot right now. So that might be the issue with that. <laughs> just keep packing that powder on. But I feel like I've packed, you know, I can keep packing this powder on and it does not look cakey and it does not look heavy. Like my chin is like glowing right now. I think it's because of that powder. Don't think it's from the Laura Mercier one. Okay, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. Ow, back on my eye. And wipe off any excess powder happening under my eyes even though like I packed it on but like I feel like all of it's set in to my foundation like I feel like there's nothing to even wipe off kind of weird that feels real nice and it looks real nice I'm gonna go in start bronzing I feel like this is taking 10 years like sorry but this video is probably gonna be forever long um I have a new favorite bronzer everybody be prepared to be amazed. Um, this is dun 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 the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. Okay, I got this for the highlighter shade, which is pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. It's okay. Um, can't open it. Ow. Okay, here's what it looks like. This bronzer, I feel like a lot of people don't use it because it looks pretty orange. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Here's, here's the highlighter if you want to see that. It's really pretty. But this formula up in here, I love it. It is like a gel powder formula. Like when you put your brush in there, like no powder comes off. And like it blends so nice on the face. I like, and like the other day I was using it and it like just built it up so nice. Builded. It built up so nice. Um, I'm kind of scared to use it right now because I'm pretty pale. So I'm thinking like it might look kind of orange, but the other day it didn't. Like it looks orange in the pan, like in the swatch and everything, but like when I put it on my face, it didn't. So we're gonna try it. And I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and it's pretty, pretty dense. Does dense mean they're closely packed? Like a lot of them or, or like not, like I cannot remember. Um, but anyway, I'm going to take that and I'm going to dip it in the bronzer. The only thing I don't like about this right now is the fact that it's so hard to get just my brush in the bronzer without getting highlighter on it and putting highlighter on my face. This bronzer, though, kind of has a glow to it. Um, a little. And, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, you can get basically this bronzer. Like, there's, like, other shades and you can get it in, like, its own little compact without this highlighter part to it, which I'm definitely planning on doing because... I just feel like that would be a lot easier for me to dip my brush into and you can like get like glowier ones or you can get like matte. I'm gonna take the, where are you, Kat Von D Shade and Light 
um, contour palette and use this deepest shade. His name is Somber, I think. Um, definitely love this shade. I'm just going to take this brush and make a sharp line. It's really, really tightly packed, but it's like shaped like this, so it's really nice for contouring. This is like just an e.l.f. brush. I actually seen it at like CVS the other day. So, if you want it, it might actually be in stores at this point, which is surprising because e.l.f. never puts new things in stores. Pisses me off. Um, I'm gonna take, actually, I'm gonna take my Maybelline. What is this? What is all these words? Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. And I'm gonna use him to, um, kind of like bake under my contour. My camera overheated, which is no surprise because it is hot in here. Okay, I'm gonna go in with blush though. Okay, this is a new blush. It just came out recently, at least on Ulta's website. And this is the Lorac Buildable Blush, I guess is what it's called. And this is in the shade Aura, I think. A-U-R-A. I think this shade's really pretty. I like this packaging. It's magnetic, which is weird for a blush. Um, when you put your finger in this, oh my god, it is so soft, which doesn't surprise me because, um, I love Lorac eyeshadows because of how soft they are, so I was hoping this would be good, and I'm feeling it already. I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take this fluffy brush, get everything off of him, and just apply this. Oh my god, well that kicks up a lot of powder, I can tell you that. I feel like this is gonna be scary. But I cannot stand whenever blush is not pigmented. So you know what? Bring it on. Rock, bring it on. Oh, it's bringing it on. God damn. That gave me some color. <laughs> this is called buildable blush because you're supposed to be able to get like, you know, a light wash of color or build it up to intense color. And fuck yeah, I just built that up in 0.2 seconds. That got a little crazy. But I like it. I think it's pretty. I'm kind of blending this into my contour color. I don't know why I think it's really pretty when you like blend pink blush into your contour. But seriously though, this blush is intense. Like, just gonna barely tap into it, get off the excess, go onto the cheek. Like it, pff, it builds up in like a second. So if you're somebody who is scared of you know, looking like a clown or having insane blush, then definitely I'll know that you like this. Like, it's kind of scary. <laughs> I'm gonna take my, this Laura Geller powder and kind of use it to blend this br brush, this blush out. I guess I'm gonna take this brush right here. This is a Real Techniques brush. And spray it with the NYX Dewy Finish, whatever, shit that you spray your face with. And I'm gonna try to go in. And yet again, you have to push pretty hard on that. Oh, oh, that's intense. Oh my god damn. Glowing. Ten years later, I'm done with my face, and this curl has gotten very upset from being behind my ear. Uh, he's not a happy camper anymore. Now, I'm going to go back to my eyes and do my beautiful pop of color and whatever else I'm going to do. So I'm going back into the chocolate bar. Well, the semi-sweet chocolate bar. I'm gonna take, I don't even know. I'm gonna take this tiny little fluffy brush. She's pretty shiny. And I'm gonna go into, what did I use earlier? Mousse and truffled? I'm gonna just go into truffled and put that on the outer half of my eye. <sighs> I think for the next part, I'm gonna take that mousse color again. Gonna use that to blend up in here even closer. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna take coconut cream, which is just a like a white cream color. Put that right up in there. Not on the inner corner, because I'm about to put some color there. I don't know if putting colors there are gonna ruin this whole look, but I'm about to do it anyway. Okay, I got this new. This is well, I mean this isn't new, but it's new to me. I got the NYX um what do you call prismatic shadow in the shade mermaid oh my god it's so gorgeous i'm gonna show you a swatch of this right now 
because I'm in love. I don't know. I mean, does that do it justice? I mean, phew, that is beautiful. Whenever I put colors on my inner corner, I don't use a base. Then they always fade throughout the day. But if I put down some kind of base, then they usually stay real well. So I'm going to take, I guess, green. Would that be weird? I'm going to try this on my hand first. Okay, I've decided I'm going to use a white base. And I'm just going to take my Color Pop. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. My Color Pop gel eyeliner thingy in the color Exit, which is white. And I'm going to take him on a brush. Tiny flat brush. I have no focus. Like, it's always on what I don't want it to be on. But I'm going to put this in the inner corner. Blend it out with my finger. Ignore my nails or I'm going to kill you. I'm going to take this beautiful shade. Can you get the, the beautifulness of this? Like, how... How can I show you like, it looks literally blue on the camera, but to me it's like blue and green and like glowing, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna shake this on my pinky finger and put that right up in the inner corner. Shoving it up in there. And you know what? This is called Mermaid and that name suits it so well because like it looks like like mermaid scale colors. It's like the most gorgeous eyeshadow I've ever seen in my life. I'm getting that all up on my nose. Like what am I doing? Moving on up to the east side, we finally got a piece of the pie. Okay, I'm going to use ColourPop um, pencil eyeliner thing, cream gel liner in the shade Zulu. That was really tiny and hard to read. This is going all up in here. I feel like I should have used that as a base. What the hell was I thinking? Like, matches perfectly. Okay, I'm going to go in with um something. This. Maybelline to final lash mascara on my bottom lashes because if I don't use this I make a giant mess even when I use this I make a giant mess like I have an issue you cannot do bottom mascara my creation is complete only on my eyes not on the rest of my face what would match mint green uh, I think I should go in with some kind of pink because my cheeks are so goddamn pink it would probably match so I'm gonna use this after I put it in my whole mouth, in my whole mouth, um, this is ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Clueless. It's just a really pretty, like, neutral pink color. Okay, so I finally finished my makeup, so I thought I would just do, like, a recap on everything new that I tried and tell you what I really thought about it. Um... So, let's start with this foundation. Hmm, don't know. I mean, like, he looks good right now. Like, he looks fine on the skin, everything, but he was so freaking hard to blend. I really don't know. Don't know about this. I'm gonna see how he wears throughout the day. I don't know. Um, next, Lorac blush. I like it. I like the color, I mean, it's good. It's only like $22 at Ulta, but seriously, seriously be light-handed. You're gonna look crazy if you're not. Like, that was probably the most intense blush I've ever put on my face. Um, next, <laughs> the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Loving it. I love this thing, okay? I really didn't think I would. I only use a few colors, but the quality is amazing. This packaging is like the cutest packaging in the world. Come on. How couldn't you love it? Um... The Sephora concealer, hair fell off of it. I like this, okay? Even though it's like pure yellow, I think it looks okay under the eyes and it looked good. I don't know, I'm feeling it. Then we got this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, yeah. Um, I don't know, I wonder if I'd like that all over my face. Curious, but I only put it under my eyes and everything and it looks fine, it looks really good. Nothing bad to say. I mean, I think it looks just as good as if I use my Maybelline Fit Me powder under my eyes or if I use the Maybelline Master or whatever translucent setting powder thing. Except I think both of those are more brightening than this. So if you want brightening, you're probably going to have to like put even more powder on top of this like I would if I wanted it to be brighter. But some people don't like it to be extra bright under the eyes. So it could be a good thing. Um, next, this Laura Geller Filter Finish Setting Powder. I love it. <laughs> I love everything Laura Geller 
so it's no surprise no no so, 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 no surprise and I just it looks really nice on the face like it's just like a really nice glow I'm a big fan of that and then last but not least the thing I'm marrying is this goddamn eyeliner the blink whatever ultra thin liquid eyeliner pen I'm in love this is my child but yet my husband because we're getting married nobody can ever take this away from me yeah that's all I have to say if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos because I'll be back soon with some more sorry this is probably like a million years long forgive me but like all my other ones recently have been like really short so I felt like doing one that took forever so yeah thanks for watching bye